Hi guys and welcome back to Editor's Life and today we're going to look at a quick and simple way to stop your audio from peaking inside Premiere Pro. If you've added a bunch of dialogue tracks, music tracks, sound effects and you've noticed that your audio is peaking at certain points, you can add your track mixer by going to Window Track Mixer and then you can add the hard limiter to individual tracks or the mix itself. So if I just press play now, you'll notice that audio channel 2 is peaking as well as the overall mix. So first off we'll add a hard limiter to track 2. So to do this you go to amplitude and compression and then come down to hard limiter and you'll notice that it stopped track 2 from peaking. You can adjust the amount by double clicking the hard limiter and changing the maximum amplitude to a different amount. So minus 3 is usually the standard that I'd go for. You can obviously select whatever suits your project. Once you've found an amount that suits your project, if you want to copy these settings onto the overall mix, you can just click and drag and it'll create a second version on that mix. You'll now notice that you've eliminated the peaking from all the channels that had it, but there's one more step you can do to improve the overall audio balance. So if you notice you have some quieter parts like I do at the beginning where it's peaking around minus 18, 19, you can double click this hard limiter and then the input boost, you can adjust this gain amount. So I'm just gonna add 10 to this. And what this will do is it'll increase the volume of the quieter parts without actually disturbing the upper limit you've created on your peaking amount. If you'd like to see a much more advanced and flexible version of audio compression, I've created a tutorial in the past that looks at the multiband compressor inside Premiere Pro, which you'll find linked in the top corner and also in the video description. Cheers.